Just a few minutes walk from Highley Station is something you'll definitely want to include on your visit to the Seven Valley Railway. The Engine House Visitor Centre is packed with railway related treasures including locomotives and carriages on static display. But there's so much more. In this first film about the treasures of the Engine House we're going to look at the work of a man described as one of the leading photographers of his generation and an accomplished railway artist. George Hiron was born in 1929 in Bristol. With the GWR on his doorstep, he was in the right time and place to capture steam railway during the 1950s and 60s. He took his first photos as a teenager on his mother's brownie box camera and never looked back. This was the start of a career photographing and painting railways across Britain. Today, George's son Richard is visiting the engine house to see some of his father's work. It's the passion that he had for it. He didn't just do it as a job, it was his life. He had an absolute passion for railways. He would cycle to most places that most people couldn't get to in cars, and he would just sit on the embankment for hours with a flask of tea, and he was just happy in his world. But when he would come home, his, his life was um, doing um, his paintings, but very few of them were for us. They were mostly all commissioned. Um, so um, he was not just um, a, a good photographer, he was a talented artist as well. But it's true to say that you did manage to appear in some of the photographs at least, didn't you? Yes, yes, I did. I think um, certainly as, as a younger lad, um, <laughs> very much um, a toddler I'm in, in, in many of them. And mother as well. Mother was in a lot of the photographs. She has become um, well known because she was always at the end of the platform and my father would always you know, put her in, in, in the photographs and, and, and uh, in his paintings too. So to what extent have you um, imbued your dad's love of railways? Um, well it's part of my life as well. So I have a massive model railway at home and there's still a, a large one of my father's as well and um, yeah so um, there's not a single day that doesn't go by when I'm not doing something to do with railways. What's it like coming here today then to the engine house and seeing your dad's work? Um, it, it always gives me a great thrill um, to stand there and think that's my dad and um, I, I absolutely love it wherever I go and, um, and I see his work and even if we go into bookstores like here or anywhere else and there's my father's books I'm always proud to point out that's my father's paintings and photographs from there and it will always embark into some sort of conversation with the, with the store holder. <laughs> The three Hiram paintings of 48773 belong to the Stanier 8F Locomotive Society and the loco itself is on static display alongside. In his own words and in both his paintings and photographs, George always endeavoured to maintain a picturesque approach in sunlight rather than the purely technical record. George died in 2001 but left a rich legacy in his work. Make sure you look up the 8F paintings next time you're at the Engine House. See you next time.